And we're going to keep this in my hair for like 30 minutes or so. This is so when I put the developer and lighter on, it's going instant to instantaneously turn. $200. Um, I'm dying it. Mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to stuff in the lighter in, and then I'm about to wrap it. Okay. You know what I mean? Hello. Thank you, quit. <laughs> Can you get a hot sore? Um, when you uh give me an Amazon gift, did you give me a gift? No, so you can't get on hot sore. That part. Yes, for I'm doing okay. Nebula. Bitch, don't play with me, bro. You wish you was on my goddamn me kiss. Cause you can kiss my black ass when you leave. But bitch, don't be out like the pet peeve. Pet peeve in the goddamn me, Steve. Steve, goddamn me, got a hat heave. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not. <laughs> Don't be asking a bitch about me. The fuck is wrong with you? Kick out. Kick the hoes out to talk uh, about my past. Real talk. <laughs> no, I'm doing my hair, y'all. 
Come on, it's the fact that we look a mess. Yeah, it's the fact that you come and watch me every day. Can't look too bad of a mess if you come watching. Shit. <laughs> you interested. Make it make sense. Well, I'm doing my hair. Well, I, despite what I look like right now, this is just a trust the end process. Okay, Miss Ann. <laughs> no, <laughs> unmute them. Don't don't mute them if uh, only if they uh talk about my uh, ass. Real talk. Not if they they troll and they control. No, uh, what do you mean by that, Ben? You still admin? Hey, Quinn. You are too. Hold on. What admins do I have here? I have QB, Honey T. Four out of ten. Okay. But y'all know what to do. Okay, Miss Sand. Miss Sand, I got you. <laughs> you you troll me, but you're admin too. <laughs> Hey, Tay Work. <coughs> mm. Tati, don't come over here looking like goddamn me, Darnell, where, yes, you, his twin, bigger than Rasp, you should have been. I don't even know you two, but y'all prophetic clubs, <laughs> nutty professor club too, and y'all know her bit, because y'all shit, and y'all ain't it, but you big then a bitch. I don't even know, but you Paul Bunyan hope. You better go, go, go. To your country back, bro, bro, bro. Tati, don't come over with that bullshit, bro. Get these bars. <laughs> Thank you. Because I got my own plays. <laughs> oh, no. I got my own plays. I got my own plays. <laughs> AJ got his own place. He's a lie. I got my own baby. <laughs> Thank you, QB. AJ's bestie, I don't give a fuck. And you can go and suck on AJ's 
fucking butt because it got HIV and you know it gonna be and your goddamn pussy because not too much on bestie, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> good night, April. Good night. Go. Oh, oh, I am. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How long has this been on y'all? Oh, let me start mixing that thing up. <sighs> let me start shaking my ass for they ban me. <laughs> for, for pornography. Hey! <laughs> 15 minutes. 15 minutes of what, um, Amia? Hey, cassette. Hey, mix with Beyonce. Oh, oh, that's how. <laughs> yeah, I got ADD. I forgot that fast. How? What question I asked? Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's been on your heart. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got it. When I said that's how, that's how fast I forgot the question I asked. Oh, you gonna see? I always do my dives on live. This is not the first time I did a dive on live. I always do my dives on live. Oh, uh, okay. Hang on, hang on. It feels good. Monica. Hmm? Everybody hang around you because we are so proud of you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And you, you look that when you when you fled and when you was able to escape, that was the best thing in the world that yeah. could have ever happened to you. Cause you, if not you was gonna be miserable, broke down. You was gonna I mean you was gonna be hurting on the inside and hating yourself at the same time. Mm-hmm. But I thank God that you you know you use your sense because you you smart. You're a very smart young lady. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad that you got up out of there because see, at that point, the way he was talking about you, I was ready to make that trip. Oh, okay, that's that's real. <laughs> thank you. And I was I'm I'm so serious. I, I'm dead serious because I was gonna bring you back to Bama with me. That's, that's how bad it, you know. That's why I always troll you to make you laugh, to make you yeah. happy. <laughs> that's where he's from too. I don't know what part he from. He must be from down there with them crazy folks. Well, he, must, he, he lived in Syracuse all his life, but his um, he was uh born in Alabama. So what part of Alabama? Now uh-huh. every part of Alabama not crazy now. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. But uh, he, he was raised down here, so that's probably why he crazy. Syracuse, it got like a, it got like a. Uh, dark. Uh, it got a curse on it to where it's mostly cloudy. Like they have some type of curse on it. It's like the somebody said Fat Bill Alabama. Somebody's coming. <laughs> Fat Bill Alabama. I don't know what part, but he said he was from Alabama, and he also said Yolanda Adams was his cousin. <laughs> and you believe that? <laughs> no. <laughs> because if she was his cousin, he'd be up walking. He would kick that wheelchair to the curb. <laughs> but you you hung in there I, I i ain't gonna lie monica i had this vibe um i was like uh-uh I, I was happy for you but then coming around every day and i was looking at your facial expressions and you know like you was getting tired and listening to how he was talking and i was like uh-uh this is not the place for monica yeah but, you know god got that perfect man out there for you mm-hmm. do not ever let fat albert pick you up again oh yeah He's a, 
And I don't even see him no more. I'm glad I don't. He had even brought my stuff and he brought, he told Taylor, he, Taylor and OC dropped off my stuff. Mm hmm. So he didn't come around me. That was yesterday. He probably had some baby. Nah, he got that, he got that other girl with him. Do you know that? Now I'm, I'm going to tell you what I, what, what, what I have some strong, I have strong discernment. Mm -hmm. You remember that night or that day that that woman was knocking at that door and he said he don't know why she keep coming around. He told her to stop coming around. Yeah. He lied. He lied because that's why that woman kept coming around. Yeah. And he wanted you to go out there and fight that woman. What made me mad is because you... He, you didn't tell her what he wanted you to tell her. Oh yeah, yeah. Because he told me he was like, "Go, go handle that." Hey, like, see. you know, put me in a situation to where I don't know that lady like that. And you know, yeah, I, I got you. I get what you said. And we was all in the comments saying, "Monica, don't do nothing." You know, <clears throat> he wanted. He was trying to test you, but he been that's that he been messing with that woman. Mm -hmm. That woman, and that's the discernment I was getting the whole time. That's why that woman kept coming around. He was promising her something. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's not Shanika though. Shanika is somebody watching me, and um, somebody going back telling Darnell that oh she on live with um and I'm talking about you, you know stuff like that. But Shanika on here watching me, bitch, don't watch me, ho. Get your body right, cause bitch, is if she, you want to so fight, so she's still on here watching I'm you. So she's still on here watching you. <laughs> So Shanika, Shanika, or Shanika, whatever, whatever you was named. I, I hate that they gave you that name because nobody can clearly get it right. You might want to stop watching Monica because at this point she's not with Darnell. At this mm. point, you're us. You want Monica. You are obsessed with her. Mm. So I'm gonna need you to get go and, and mind the business that pay you. That part because we good over here. <laughs> that now, part. All jokes aside, that Monica has my number. Now, if Monica called me and I find out that Shanika, Shaniqua, Shaquita, or whatever your name is, done even better your eyes at her heart. Oh, I'm, <laughs> Shemika, you won't know Shemika who I said, am. "Girl, bye." <laughs> that's that's who Shanika. That? <laughs> that's oh, you, Shanika. Oh, you best to believe I will come. You don't know me, <laughs> and trust me, you don't want to know me. <laughs> that part. I, I I got one thing to say, and I hope you can understand this whisper, is Shaniqua. Shanika, Shanita. <laughs> I'm from Alabama, and we know how to hide bodies. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yep. He bought Shanika a truck. A white truck, and he got him a. Uh, he 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 talking about. Yup, Shanika got the truck. I'm like, damn, you played the fuck out of me. Your fat ass didn't want to see me eat, so you wanted me to starve all Ramadan. <laughs> you know what? Every time I think about it, I get mad. Once you let go and let God deal with it, He's gonna deal with it His way. Okay, I'm gonna let go. And let let God deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let go and let God know. Like, I just let it go. Please stop talking about Darnell. So I get mad. Mm -hmm. But I love Darnell. <laughs> His little fat folk, yes. In nine, three weeks. <laughs> well, I love the things he can do for me. You know, I love a nigga to take care of me. Man, don't worry. Man, don't eat in my book. And most nowadays, women are taking care of men. I could not stand my daddy because my mom did all the work. She paid all the bills and still cooked and cleaned and then still take care of my daddy. Like, no, that's not me. In the Bible it says, man, don't work. Man, don't eat. Why are women taking on roles of men? When they want to be equal rights and women want to be equal rights with the men, that's when all the shit changed. But back then, women were good. They were getting their nails. They were looking dainty. They was, you know, they was being their role. Mm. 
Yeah, they been lazy because my daddy was lazy and, and my mom and daddy born in the 60s. So I don't know when they became <laughs> But I was raised by a woman who took care of men. So I'm used to take care of men because my mama did it. So that's what I'm used to doing. But I didn't want to do that. You know, I didn't want to stress out like my mama. She didn't smoke, she didn't drink, and still end up with cancer. Body just stressed out from doing all the stuff, doing everything. Cooking, cleaning, working, paying all the bills, stressing out. Not even enjoying life. <laughs> but leave it to a Capricorn. They chasing that bag. <laughs> they love work. <laughs> they work. They don't take no days off. They have vacation time, but they still going to save it for, for two more years later. <laughs> And they gonna have, and the Capricorns they go, they gonna have a job that's fun. It's gonna be low page, but they they gonna be uh, low pay, like minimum wage. But they gonna work their way up from that job and be there for like ten plus fifteen years. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, they gonna settle for a job that makes them happy to where they can go to work, continue to go to work every day, and then at the end of the day, they gonna work their way up. Like, mama did it all my life, and she's still doing it. Like, <laughs> Virgos, so yeah, Virgos too, but. Capricorn, Virgos, and Taurus are all earth signs. Remember I told y'all all earth signs bring stability. So think of the earth as a core. The core that we stand on is the earth. Where we are gravitating the natural gravity earth. Period. It's uh, stable. Uh, 5% on each side. North, south, east, west. Making it grounded to where it's a support on each side. Okay? So, um... All earth signs are stubborn. They have to, in order to make the uh, earth not, you know, they have to be stubborn, stable, organized, controlling. Um, money. They're all about money. Except Taurus. Taurus can be lazy. You know, Taurus, at the earth signs, Taurus can be lazy. Taurus has to be motivated. To, you know, to go get money. Not like the Virgo and the Capricorn, but Taurus has to be motivated. Not not the women, per se. I'm talking about the men. I ain't date, I ain't date no women now, so I don't know how the women do, but I'm talking about the men. Oh, yeah, yeah, my hair. <laughs> what about Libra and uh, money? Libra and money. Um... Let me smoke a cigarette first. Oh, yeah. Let me uh, mix my stuff. Yeah, let me stop talking with this side. Because I'll get... <laughs> yeah, they do work hard. They do work hard. Um, let me get... Damn. I'm lazy. It's the... It's the... Uh, baby. It's so comfortable... Y'all. What my fucking lighter? <laughs> I need to be mixing my stuff. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Let me see.
Okay, go on, blow. You see how fast it was? And it's intensely changing your face. When you're smart, you can do anything. Remember I said it'll instantaneously change in your face? All blind. No, stop asking about my husband. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Hmm. Hmm. That, that motherfucking dweeb. That dweeb. That fucking dweeb. Okay, y'all. I'm about to take it out. Don't wash my arm. My arm itching. That damn guy.
All right, let me watch that. Where's that, y'all? Can this or that? Me. Um, no, 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 who said you could perm your hair and dye it at the same time <laughs> and still have hair? Now, that's the uh, conditioner from the conditioner, I just rinsed it out. Thank you. Yep, I use a neutralizer shampoo. But I didn't wash it out. I mean, the the dye I didn't wash it out. You just put conditioner on it. Wash my hands. Yeah, it's still going to be good. I got good hair. Bitch, I'm mixed with Italian, Cherokee, Shock Talk. <laughs> Me. <laughs> so, it's giving black about. <laughs> yeah, go get you one, bitch, because you don't want to smoke those. We own cigarettes. <laughs> I'm conditioning my hair. It's right, right. Make sure it's right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm 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 gonna straighten it. Hold on, y'all. Let me just put all my um conditioner in. Yeah, let me put my conditioner in and calm it out. What you talking about? I'm trying to get all that goodness in so we can comb it in. And do it in. Hold on, it's uh the deepen it's the conditioner. I'm trying to get uh, oh. 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 squirting out like that. <laughs> I I use the um um I'm gonna show you. No, I'm not high. And my head not burning. This is conditioner, dummy. <laughs> Dust yourself off and try again, try again, again, again. So what you do, you did to me. You look so, so greasily. You bum in. You looking like a motherfucking real dyke. You stutter. You big. You look like you nick. <laughs> At first, you don't succeed. <laughs> okay. I'm looking so spazzy. <laughs> Y'all so stupid. I can't stand y'all. <laughs> okay, Connor. <laughs> Not Connor. <laughs> but my great grandfather is Italian. 
<laughs> His name probably would be Connor. <laughs> yeah. Thirsty ass people. Girl. Girl, you wish it was a miss. I'm fine. I'm fine, fine. I'm Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. <laughs> it's giving Halle Berry. Yes. Oh, yep, I am. I might cut it myself, y'all. You know I'm a hairstylist. Yeah, I like it. Um, no, it's, I'm just, um, you want to look like this, shit. Got some conditioning, huh? Can I condition my hair without you talking about why I look like that? Why are you so dumb? <laughs> That's the real question. I just, girl, my hair can't fall out. Unless I cut it bald. Because your hair is your glory and I got a lot of glory. So, sir, keep that in the evil section. Because it ain't me. You're welcome. I taught y'all how to do hair. Y'all see how it turned instantly? Thank you. I'm doing my eyelashes and, and put my contacts in.